Welcome to Mini Days from the blog minidays.com. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you four different ways to style your mantel shelf for spring this year. So I've stood my mirror portrait way around on my fireplace. And then next to create this look, I just put some ivory behind. I've just pushed it behind the mirror and just try to pull it out equally on, on either side. And then I've just stood one of my moss green wreaths just in the middle of the mirror and then my moss green bunny to the right and then some nice white potted um, flowers, that's the right word, <laughs> in the middle here. And then on some on the other side just to create some symmetry. And then a little plant here just to balance out the height of the bunny on the other side. It's not the same height but that doesn't matter. Symmetry doesn't always have to be exactly the same. And then to finish off I've popped a few little bits of moss around the front area. So this really is just sticking to white and green as the main colours. And um, there's a, just a touch of brown in the eggs, but this is generally a white and green display, which I think is always nice and fresh looking. So now with my lights switched on, sorry, the weather is making it absolutely impossible to get a decent photo. That's my nice, fresh, white and green display for spring. I love the way the um, the green and the white just stand out so nicely. I mean, I could have a whole house white and green and I think I'd be quite happy in it. <laughs> but anyway, that's not... That's not going to happen. So next, for the next dis display I'm going to show you, I'm just taking the mirror down and then remember those napkins that I made out of me one pound throw. I made four napkins from my Easter table display. Well, I'm just um, using two of them just to cover the top of the mantel shelf because this display I want to incorporate some colour. So obviously turquoise is the colour I'm going to use. So I'll just pop my mirror back on the top there. And then my little postcard that formed a mason sent in the post, I've just framed it. So we've got kind of golds and bronzes, I suppose, as the colours that I'm going to coordinate with the turquoise. And my DIY linen bunny, which you would have seen me make. I will leave a link below for any of the DIYs that you see in this video because there's quite a few. So I've just moved them into the positions I want them. So I've just gone full frame left, rabbit right. So next I've just took some ivy and I've just draped it behind the mirror. So it's just peeping out at one end and then slightly across the corner of the other. And then I've just put some artificial greenery. This is just from Ikea. I always forget what this is. Eucalyptus. I think it's eucalyptus. So I've just popped that behind just to kind of um, fill the gaps at the back. And then I've just pushed up some of the material. I feel like it looks a little bit more interesting if I just created a little bit of a tuck near the end, but I've still left enough to hang over. So I'll pop some more greenery around the back of the mirror here, and then a nice little interesting looking twig, just to take away the plainness of the front of the mirror here. I popped a little artificial cactus here just to fill this gap. And then a little bunny to the left. And then some artificial greenery on the other side just to fill this gap here behind the pot. And then finally just a little nest. I'm just leaning that on the twig and a few little bits of moss. So this is my slightly more colourful um, mantel shelf display. I do love turquoise or duck egg or whatever you want to call it and I find you can mix shades of it really really easily together they don't have to be the same shade so I'm quite happy with that and that goes really well with my dining room table but we're changing it again so I've just slipped out the um, napkins and I've just left the ivy on the mirror and then my DIY eggs on candlestick holders which was a previous DIY. These are all recent DIYs, by the way. So I'll leave a link below in case you haven't seen them. And my DIY yawn and hessian rabbit in photo frame. So I'm just going to pop him on the right hand side. I just move my candlestick holder along a little bit. So this is kind of creating quite a full um, look on the sides of the mantelpiece. And this is obviously last week's DIY. Yes, with the chicken white. Yeah, it was last week's DIY. <laughs> So I'm just popping that in there and that just balances the shape of the display nicely. And then some greenery behind, this just fills the gaps. 
but I'm pulling quite a bit through in front of the base of the candlestick holder just to kind of tie it in all together. It breaks up the white as well. So that's just a nice way on adding a little bit more brown to your display. There's not a lot of brown, but it's just um, just enough just to kind of create a different look. So we've got the brown in the um, in the nest and then the candlestick holders and then a little bit in the, in the hessian bunny in the fourth frame on the right. Sweet, I quite like that. I like the candlestick holders, I like that symmetry. For the final display, I've just moved the photo frames from either side and I've just left everything the way it is and then I've just popped a little bit height on the right here which is just my white flowers which you've seen in my first um, clip and then my three DIYs that I made a couple of weeks ago my Easter bunny jumping which is obviously my mini days logo I've stood that in the middle of the mirror and then my um, live life in full bloom DIY chalkboard I pop that to the left hand side and then my little DIY hop bunting I'm just going to tie this underneath the middle I love adding bits of black in displays I just love the impact it gives to the display and how it stands out so nicely against the background I'm definitely going to be using more black in displays in the future especially when I start decorating my living room I can't wait for that I feel like I've got so many ideas right okay I'm going off track here. I've just pushed this in a little bit. I felt like it was sticking out a little bit. So yeah, this is this is how I'm actually probably going to leave it because I really like the way this is. I love the way the little rabbit looks like it's got a friend in the mirror. But it's just the reflection. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one like this for now. Because I didn't really have any way to hang the, the chalkboard, to be honest with you. I wasn't really happy where it was hanging, so I'm quite happy. So my mini days logo has got pride of place in the middle of the mirror. Of course you can download a template for that or any other of my DIY templates that I make from minidays.com. I really hope you've enjoyed watching my um, green and white simple display and my turquoise slightly more colourful display here. And my green and white with touches of brown here and then finally um, my display with little touches of black and all my DIYs um, that I've included. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I shall see you again next Friday. So I've just been down the track to put the rubbish in the bin and I thought I would just take a little peek over this wall. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, play full and free without a care in the Take me back, all the way back. There you are. Where you been? Where you been? <laughs> been watching the deer. She's still thinking about that rabbit that she's just chased no under the building. In fact, I've got to see if you can get it. Yeah, oh, exactly the same place. I'll do a minute Don't go in there, Minnie. Come on, baby. She keeps getting distracted. Come, Minnie. Back in the house. Is coming. No, nope, we're not going to play. No way, not today.